Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, yesterday I introduced Senate Bill 284, and I rise today to ask for your co-sponsorship. I'd like you to think back to long before we were all here in this room. Think back to before you started your career, maybe before you had kids, maybe before you were married, before your first job. Think back to elementary school. Think back to when you were growing up. Think back to the time when you were just discovering who you were, where you fit in in social circles, what your personality was, what you believed in. And I want you to think about the first time you fell in love. Maybe you didn't know it was love yet. Maybe it was the first time that you looked at somebody else and there was something inside you that stirred so deep that you just wanted to spend all of your time with that person. And spending time with that person made you feel like a better person. It made you feel whole. Think of the joy and think of how that impacted who you are today. Now, imagining yourself at that age, think about somebody telling you that you are wrong, that your feelings are wrong, and that you are broken. That all of these newfound feelings and beliefs that you know to be true in your soul about who you are and who you love and who you gravitate towards is wrong. That something so core to you is unwelcome. Now imagine that going further. Imagine going through the process of you being forced out of you. Imagine going through the process and being told over and over again the idea that who you are has to change. That the only way for you to be welcome and to be accepted is to become something that you are not. Conversion therapy is not therapy. It is not grounded in science, it is immoral, it is unethical, and it is harming our young people by telling them that at their core, they are broken, that they are wrong. But this is not just a moral issue. Young residents are taking their talents and skills out of Michigan to other states. And millennials often cite demand for communities that are welcoming and open-minded. 16 states have already banned conversion therapy including New Jersey, where Republican Governor Chris Christie signed a ban into law in 2013, and Washington State, where Democratic Governor Jay Inslee signed in 2018. And conversion therapy, this practice or lack thereof, not only is not effective in turning somebody who might be gay or queer into somebody who is straight, but it is irreparably damaging. It increases self-harming tendencies. It increases anxiety and depression and rates of suicide. Think back to who you were when you were just discovering who you were. And imagine the feeling of hopelessness in being told over and over that you are not welcome and getting to the point where you have no other option but to die. Because you know in your core that you cannot change who you are. This is what is happening in this horrific practice. I welcome your co-sponsorship today so that we might stand up and with one loud unified voice Tell every young person in the state of Michigan that you are welcome and that you are valued. To tell every resident and everybody around the country that Michigan is a place that will welcome you and serve you no matter who you are and who you love. Because your sexual orientation doesn't change who you are as a neighbor or a community member or what ideas you have or how you are going to help us grow our economy or what businesses you're going to create. Let's send one loud and clear message that you are welcome in Michigan and that Michigan will not tolerate anybody forcibly trying to change you into something that you are not. And I would like my remarks printed in the journal.